What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Call Me Fi, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Dark Ops challenges in Cold War Zombies. Now you may or may not know this, but shortly after Cold War was released and I unlocked the Dark Aether Camel, I made a video outlining the easiest gun classes to get Plague Diamond for. Now the purpose was to help people with their Dark Aether grind by telling the fastest and easiest guns to get Plague Diamond. Well this video is going to be very similar to that, except instead I'll be going over the Dark Ops challenges and the easiest ones to do quickly to unlock the Dark Ops Master Calling card. So with that said, let's get right into it. So first of all guys, let's take a quick look at how to unlock the Dark Ops Master Calling card. You simply just have to complete 11 Dark Ops challenges. Now overall it's pretty simple and straightforward, but it is difficult to do most of them. So we're going to look at the 11 easiest ones to do. Now first up, the absolute easiest Dark Ops challenge is Harbinger of Doom. To unlock it, you have to kill 50 enemies with a single support. So to do this, just get to like round 20 or 25, buy a chopper gunner, and kill as many zombies as possible with it. Now this is likely one that most people have done without even realizing that it's a Dark Ops or realizing that it's a challenge at all. It's just so simple and so easy to do, and that is the number one easiest one that you guys can do right now. Number two is the Anvil. Now once again, this one is pretty straightforward. Xville, a game with only using melee attacks. Now this one I've actually made a video on before. I'll put a link to that in the description. But all you have to do is equip the knife or any other melee weapon as your primary and play till round 10. Then you can buy a support like the chopper gunner, head to the radio to Xville, and then once you get to the Xville site, use the chopper to kill off the zombies. Now using any support like the chopper gunner, war machine, or even the death machine will not count as using a gun or non-melee weapon and will allow you to unlock the dark ops making it super easy to do. The third easiest Dark Ops is Armed to the Teeth. Now in order to complete this one, you'll need to have two fully packed weapons with ammo mods equipped and six perks active in one game. Now I don't think I really need to explain this one, it's pretty simple. Just max pack two weapons, put ammo mods on them, and have six perks. This one, like the first, is probably one that most people had done without even realizing. The only reason I say it's more difficult than the last one is because it will take a while to get enough points to do all of these things. But once you make it to like round 30 or 35, you should be able to do it. And most people will have these things done by then anyways. Next up, we have number four, which is Box Attic. This Dark Ops is still pretty easy, but will take a lot of points just like the last one. Now what you need to do is buy every weapon from the mystery box in a single game. It sounds pretty simple, and it is pretty simple, but the only thing is that with all the new guns being added to the game, it'll take you quite a few points to do, but still, it's a lot easier than some of the other ones in the game. Now, this next one is a little bit more difficult, but still, it's not nearly as bad as some of the other ones. Good Enough requires you to reach round 20 with only using your starting loadout and no upgrades. Now this means you can't pack a bunch, you can't use the armor stand, you can't even pick up a grenade off the ground. For this Dark Ops, I recommend you take the Howard because it's the closest thing to a one shot in the game and use it until round 20 when you unlock the calling card. Number 6 is Checkmate. In order to complete it, you will need to play every single trial in D-Machine in a single game. Now this one can either be super easy or a little difficult. I don't exactly know how many trials there are in the game, but there's a pretty fair amount. Luckily you don't need to actually commit to completing each trial, you just need to press start and then wait for the timer to go down. The easiest way to do this would be to keep one zombie alive and do as many trials as you can at the end of each round. Now because they do cost points, you will eventually run out and you'll have to go do another round and then go back and start your trials up again, but that's probably the easiest method you could do. Or you could try to just do them while you're playing, but this gets a little risky because the trial machine is kind of in a crappy place, so I definitely recommend you do the first method. Now the last real challenge I'm going to put on this list is Invincible. Now this one requires you to reach round 30 without going down. Now this one I actually did by accident, it was right after the game was released, I was just playing around and got the challenge, I didn't even realize it was a Dark Ops. What I recommend you do for this one is hop onto Mauer or Toten, get the Wonder Weapon, and use that to carry yourself to round 30. It's super overpowered so it should help you out. And there you go, those are the 7 easy Dark Ops challenges, but unfortunately for the Dark Ops Master Calling Card, we need 
11 and we're currently at 7 which means that we need 4 more. Now for this I recommend you do the easter eggs. Now when the game first released we had 1 easter egg but now we have like 5.5 kind of which means that you can choose to not do 2 of them. Now the reason I say 5.5 is because the breakthrough dark ops was released along with the outbreak game mode before the outbreak easter eggs came out. Um, so it kind of acted as an easter egg but it wasn't really an easter egg. Now I recommend doing this one because it's the easiest of the quote unquote easter eggs to do. Its description is in outbreak complete 10 objectives and Xville in a single game. So basically complete 10 regions then Xville. It's pretty simple and shouldn't be too hard to do. I also have a guide on this one if you guys want to do it. Uh, I'll have a link in the description so you guys can go check that out. Next, I recommend you do the two Outbreak Easter Eggs. Now, the reason I say you should do the Outbreak ones over the regular round-based ones is because the Outbreak has a lot more breathing room. Now, you don't always have to stress about keeping the last zombie alive while you do steps, and you're able to choose when to move on to the next region, so it just allows you to prepare and take it a little bit slower so that you're not overwhelmed. So for that reason, I recommend you do the two Outbreak Easter Eggs. I also have guides on these that you can check out on my channel. Once again, I'll leave the links in the description. Finally, the last Easter egg I recommend doing is the Firebase Z1. Now, this is the easiest round-based mode Easter egg. Unfortunately, I don't have a guide on this one, so you have to look elsewhere for that. However, if you do want to have a guide, you can check out my Marauder Toten Easter egg guide, which of course will count as another Dark Ops. Um, but it's definitely a little bit harder than the Firebase Z one. So for that reason, I recommend doing Firebase Z just because it's super easy to do. And there you go, guys. Those are the 11 easiest Dark Ops challenges to complete in Cold War Zombies in order to unlock the Dark Ops Master Calling Card. If you guys have any questions, please, please, please feel free to leave a comment and I will help you out to the best of my abilities. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to drop a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it if you showed your support by subscribing or at least checking out some of my older videos before doing so, just so you can see if my channel is right for you. But with that said, guys, good luck on your Dark Ops challenges. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.